hello everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing some quick tips on how to kill killmonger uh, using the no parry method uh, I mentioned this method before in a domino fight I'll show you the link down below uh, it doesn't work for all champs but uh, it does work for killmonger he has a exaggerated uh, attack on his punch and you can take advantage of it so let's take a look at it so to showcase this no parry ability against Killmonger, we have three fights. The first is a three-star Star-Lord against a 565 Killmonger. He'll come in with a swipe and then you will attack right away. Swipe, attack right away. So I'll slow that down. He comes in with a swipe, you move back, and you attack right away. It has to be very, very fast. Uh, if you delay it at all, he will kick you with a lower kick and finish his combo. So he comes in, swipe. You move back and you attack right away. So this is great for uh, stun resistant nodes or if you just don't want to touch them. Uh, when he does his SB1, he has uh, two Counter-Strike charges. And when he does those Counter-Strike charges, if you hit him on his block, he will attack you right away. So this method, you never have to touch him. Uh, you just keep on baiting it out, baiting out his specials, which you'll have to get used to as well if you're not already. I prefer his uh, SP2 debate. I think it's a lot easier than the three part. The other two fights we're going to showcase will be a five star Angela, uh, basically taking a, a normal champ. I usually don't bring a three star against a Killmonger in war. Uh, and the last one is a fight I did with Wasp, uh, three star as well. So as you can see, I just wait for him to do a swipe. And then retaliate. Much like dominoes that, that I did uh, a couple weeks ago. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm ready, I'm timed for it, so I'll just let him swipe a couple of times. See, I don't always attack because I'm just trying to prepare myself. I got a little bit close here. I had to use an intercept to get out of the way and I used my special one to push him back because he's going to do his SP2 here. You have to be careful not to run in too quick on the SP2 or you'll hit those blades and it basically does a huge amount of damage. So the next fight we're going to take on is just bringing in a normal champ. Uh, this is a rank 4 Angela uh, against uh, 565 once again. I'm pretty sure I parry once in this fight just by mistake, but uh, you'll get the idea. He comes in for the swing, you retaliate. I try to push him the SP2 if possible, I always enjoy SP2 more. You wait it out, go in and attack. So I'm waiting for him to swing. He swings. Oh, I wasn't ready there. He's, there's my mistake parry. Didn't feel ready. Swing, attack. He's going to do his SB2, push back, wait for him to finish it, go in and attack. Wait for him to swing at me, swing, retaliate. So there you have it. Now the last fight is a three-star wasp. Uh, I couldn't survive this one. She's just too low in health and I had to hit way too many times. But it was a pretty cool fight. Uh, she has a special ability where she can do a heavy on her uh, fourth attack. I wasn't doing it and the reason I wasn't doing it is because it, it puts a debuff on Killmonger. Uh, a weakness debuff and when that happens uh, he gains power and I was trying to avoid him gaining power uh, during this fight so I just stuck to the regular combos and used my special attacks. Again I try to push him the SB2. If you do a 5 hits and then you push him the SP2 and he does the SP2 right away I just wait a second before he jumps and then move. Uh, I find if you uh, move back too fast, he'll clip you. 
Uh, also, if you just do four hits and then you move back, that's kind of the safe bet because it gives you that extra second to move back. Killmonger is a real cool champ, and I would love to get him as a five or six star. I actually tried for him for the six star featured when he was out. I didn't get him; got Cable. But uh, he's really cool. And a lot of people are having problems fighting him. They asked me to do a video, so I thought I would. So the key here is to, uh, if you're going to, you can parry him. I mean, I mean there's nothing wrong with parrying the guy. Uh, this is just another option, especially if he's on stun resistant, uh, or if you're worried about his counter strike. His counter strike really hurts in war if you get hit by that. So he's stunned. Wait for his SP2. Attack. See, I don't always push him over to the next bar of power because I want to get a few more hits in. And I wasn't doing any really intercepting here. I was just too low in health to risk it. And by the way, Wasp is really fun to play. She, uh... I only have as a 3-star, but uh, I really enjoy playing her. So we're getting down to the end here. It gives you an idea of how things work. Um, you know, you there's a swing, you retaliate. That's, that's the whole point of this video. Hope you guys uh, took something from it. Uh, I'm sure there's other champs that you can do this to. We just got to figure out wh which ones. Obviously, Domino. I actually find Killmonger more difficult than Dom Domino to do this technique, but it still works. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, just a quick tips and uh, take care, everybody. Target identified. Analysis complete. Please subscribe.